Ladies and welcome to Men's Fashion Insider Season premiere of our Spring Summer 2013 coverage. I'm your host, Marcelo Sell Jones, and of course, this is my lovely Phaedra. In today's excitement, I've got the new collections for you by D Square, who topped our list last season as Favorite House of the Season. I've also got for you Brioni and Emmanuel Geldozena. But first, over to Chris Housen in North America with more. Thanks, Marcellus. Today we have this year's Spring Summer Collection from Tommy Hilfiger in New York. Then in Toronto, we've got newcomer to Men's Fashion Insider, Express. We're backstage at the presentation for D Squared for Spring Summer 2013. We're going to be bringing that collection to you in just a few moments because there's lots of excitement for you. I'm pretty pleased. I mean, it was pretty aggressive, pretty strong. Great accessories. Boom. To the point, you got the message. We're opening, we opened denim in the beginning. There's five exits with denim. Um, more so denim intervals, just like denim collars, denim flowers, denim pieces, denim gelée. Um, one, one jean because actually we're trying to make the skinny black pant become the new denim staple for us in the show. Summertime, you're on a holiday, you don't want to pack so many jackets, they're hard to travel. Kind of like, also, when we were younger and we were going out a lot in the club, I mean, it's kind of looks that we kind of would do it. We work on a white shirt and dress it up, do stuff, accessories were important. So you know what, I said, you know what, let's go there. And uh, it's a bit of a tribute to our, our, our heritage, I mean, our, our growing up, our youth. The 90s are in we again. We never thought we'd, the 90s would come around, but everything that goes around comes around. These are part of my family, and they are the most uh, fresh, modern, happiness uh, designer that really I've met in my life. More and more people wanted to go out, wanted to be enjoyed, wanted to go to the parties. And this is very perfect for the night time, go to the red carpet parties uh, and uh, black uh, with uh, this uh, nice uh, gold. It looks very, very terrific, very beautiful. That was the magical Dean and Dan Katz and the Canadian duo who have literally taken the world by storm. And of course, they've taken the clubbing scene by storm too for spring, summer 2013. This collection is a homage to not people who follow trends, but people who make them. And for them, these are the club goers. These are the club children. This collection, we see the designers really focusing their attention primarily on black and white. The shorts, they came right to the knees. The trousers, they were cut just above the ankles and they were more tapered for a slimmer look, an elongating look. The tops were all done in poplin. Some of them were just pure white. Some of them had black motifs placed on them. Others were energized with lots of jewelry in the collection. Also, in terms of accessories, they had lots of shoes, great little small hats and those really thin ties. And of course, the belts also had those chrome studs all around them. This is a really energetic collection presented here in Milan, Italy by Dan and Dean Cattin. You're watching Men's Fashion Insider here in Milan, Italy. Prep Club, nautical, uh, red, white, and blue, uh, inspired by cricket, uh, regatta, sailing, racing, and uh, yachting. So I'm sort of a, a fanatic on when it comes to nautical, uh, safari influence as well, and uh, Steve McQueen influenced racing gear. A lot of stripes. Red, white, and blue stripes, color, color stripes, uh, Breton stripes, regimental stripes. These are all regimental stripes, schoolboy stripes, racing stripes, but all about stripes. We give him a choice and we say, okay, this is it. Choose what you like, no rules. I'm just honored to uh, to be an invited guest, and uh, you know they, they got me in a, a suit. It's nice and comfortable, the American style. I, I'm happy to be out of uh, you know just just rocking the little speedo around. It's 
comfortable, casual. You know, I like the the red, white, blue thing. Um, it's it's cool. It, it's it's fun to see a lot of people dressed up. You know, and, and see everybody's you know style coming out all all at once. You know, like I said, uh, I am used to seeing people in minimal clothing. And how much how much style can you really you know present in that? Especially if you're trying to race. You know, all the race suits are the same. Very Americana, but you know, it's Americana in a way that still feels a little rock and roll. You know, it feels, it has like the rebellious spirit. It has a lot of style, even though it, it does uh, pay homage to a, a more traditional fashions. We're backstage over at Emerald Geldo Zena, which is going to be presenting its new collection on the runway in a few minutes here for spring summer 2013. But I wanted to bring you backstage and to see how things really look before a show is going to take place at a major fashion house. I mean, the models are here, there are like tons of dresses here, there's like a huge hair and makeup stand. And of course, Anna Zena, she's back there giving great interviews, and we're going to be getting to her in just a few moments as well as she's going to give us amazing insight to this new collection. There is a great sense of Italian beautiful tailoring with our couture, but with a little bit of eccentricity that the print will bring. So it's still a chic and elegant man with some eccentric prints as highlights. You will only see him once dressed up to toe, head to toe. We have added some blue and uh, some red. There is what we call a cloud gray, so it's a fresh gray. And what is interesting is the way all these colors play together. So instead of using them only one color head to toe, sometimes they're juxtaposed. So you see here, for example, you have this either total look or the blue with the our tropical pattern. So the way they're put together gives a modern hue to the collection. You know, our men are becoming very demanding. They're waiting for innovation every year. So even in the Sartori and the Couture, they wanted to have something equally elegant in the sports time. And therefore, we have enlarged the collection to please their business, their leisure, and their evening time. And since men is at the core of our attention, we love it, and every season will surprise you. Well, I think mainly uh, people can find things for the, uh, not for the evening, you know, that was really evening before. And this is mainly things that you can wear at the office, but mainly for the weekend. For instance, the kind of uh, wallpaper shirts and uh, trousers too, which are uh, brand new for uh, Merilino Zenia himself. Wow, what an amazing collection presented here in Milan, Italy by Italian fashion house Romero Giordo Zenia. They did an amazing job on some of those suits where we see the button actually raised closer to the thorax area. The colors in the collection were absolutely amazing. The prints were gorgeous. They look amazing on those silk fabrics. And also, we really have to point out that this is a collection that has lots of online pieces. So that way, you can have some leather on in the summer and still feel comfortable because of that perforated fabric that they were using. This is an amazing collection by indie standards. This is Emmanuel General Zena for Spring Summer 2013, and I'm Marcella Sol Jones in Milan, Italy. Coming up after the break, we've got Neil Barrett and Pierre Cardin, all from Europe. Welcome back to Men's Fashion Insider. Now Marcellus has coverage from Oliver Spencer, Neil Barrett and Pierre Cardin, all from Europe. Men's Fashion Insider is in London, England for the presentation of Oliver Spencer's new collection for Spring Summer 2013. 
suede. I've got it on here, a bit of red suede. Um, pleated trousers was something that we're coming through with. A um, little bit of a pantalone story with the buttons going down the side of the trousers. We're also, I mean, it's all about colour for me and it's all about wearable colour. So I'm, I'm, I'm heavily into modernism as my sign at the end of the runway shows you all. So um, it's putting art into clothing and making it work in a wearable way. Well, I always choose the signature colour to run through the collection with, and the powder blue is the colour that I was running through the collection with. And I, I you know, we swing from really commercial pieces to, com to pieces that are more uh, designed. And um, putting through the colour is, is a really important thing right now. And I'm, I'm not a designer that designs in all black collections. What we saw was soft, constructed tailoring. We saw a vibrant use of colors. I love the saffron yellows, the royal blues, those pops of reds and burgundies. And I thought it was genius what he did with the trousers. Kind of rolled them up and banded them at the bottom. I thought it was brilliant. I think he's a very good designer. I think he's the most refreshing of the new London tailors that we've seen come in. Um, his, his show last season I thought was tremendous. Um, with this kind of literary take on fashion. And I think he's got an ability to kind of color block and mix things, which has a slightly continental flair to it. I don't, I don't, I find the color coordination thing is sometimes a little bit off, whereas I think he gets it right. It's all about, you know, loose, unstructured jackets in kind of cotton, um, fabrics like that. It's very easy, very laid back. It's stuff that guys can wear and sort of throw on and not think about too much, but still have a bit of attitude about them and a little bit of swagger. We're finding men want to dress up. They like the idea of suits, but they don't have to wear suits for business, so they're looking for suit alternatives, something that's softer and a little more casual. I think uh, Oliver Spencer hit, it on the, hit the nail on the head with this collection. In this collection, the designer started up with a very dark color palette. As the collection progressed, the designer decided to lighten things up, lighten up that atmosphere and the mood by adding in a wonderful powdery blue. Now, of course, she kept the tailoring light and comfortable. We saw spacious trousers, particularly those jeans she had it. Now, of course, it's a very solid collection. It has a very strong editorial appeal as well as a very strong commercial appeal. We head over now for the presentation of Neil Barrett's new collection for spring-summer 2013. It's summer, so we just wanted to throw in way more shorts. It's so hot over here, so um, we just wanted to lighten everything up. It was basically keeping the constructions of the winter, the very sort of couture oversized um, volumes, but stripping them bare, like even the leather. is just the finest, finest single layer leather. The number one thing is obviously the making it as light as possible so it still looks constructed but it's so totally deconstructed with rayons and, or cupros or you know tailor scattered like viscoses or things like that we've added in this idea of um like a almost like a summer masculine sports thing so you have um cricket theme regatta theme sort of henley um baseball basketball various summer sports thrown in, in and as an inspiration or as a volume but then we break it down like we um take the stripes and we make it into shirtings, super, super light. And then we deconstruct them and break them up, totally break the stripes as if they're decomposing to make it a little bit more cool and less preppy, less uptight. Well, of course, I've kept all the darks in the showroom. There's a lot of dark. What do people expect from me um, available to buy? But it was just throwing some extra color in. Um, the colors we've done in the past have been selling, the very few colors we've done have been selling very well. So we thought, well, why not just give a little bit more for this summer? I, I love the, the, the football. We took, we took apart a, an actual football, an old football I had, and reconstructed the football as leather jackets. That was really cool. We also have a cricket jacket as well, where we took, a, we took apart a ball and reconstructed it as a jacket. That was designer Neil Barrett with the presentation of his new collection for spring summer 2013. In this collection, Neil decided to make blue a very important part of the color palette for the season. What's interesting about that is that Neil decided to play around with different blues. Now, the blue for me is a definite triumph. He also added in lots of stripes into the collection. And in terms of style, Neil added in quite a lot of shorts this season. So Neil Barrett wants the men folk to show off some leg this season so guys it's back to the gym you're watching men's fashion insider
is a bright and sunny morning here in Paris, France. And Men's Fashion Insider brings you to the Palais Brognard for the presentation of the new Spring Summer 2013 collection presented by the living fashion legend, Mr. Pierre Cardin. C'est une collection qui a du qu'un signature Pierre Cardin comme un musicien, comme un peintre, comme un sculpteur, comme un graveur, comme un photographe. Et puis évidemment, il y a dans ma, toute ma ligne, il y a de la créativité, puisque moi je crée le futur pour être de, de, demain le passé. Et c'est moi, je suis moi, je m'habille classique selon mon âge. Bien sûr que si j'avais si 30 ans ou 20 ans, je ne serais pas habillé comme ça en vieux monsieur. Je m'habillerais beaucoup plus jeune. Mais en tout cas, moi, je pense aux jeunes, c'est évident, parce que je n'oublie pas que j'ai été jeune. Le bonheur pour moi, c'est d'exister. Il y en a qui travaillent pour, pour, pour se reposer, moi, je travaille pour vivre. Pierre Cardin, c'est un visionnaire d'abord, un homme qui a énormément de talent, qui en a eu et qui en a toujours et qui a influencé euh, quatre, trois générations de, de, de créateurs et qui continue à les influencer. Il est, est tellement juste dans son époque qu'il s'est même fait piquer des modèles, qu'on le copie encore. C'est quand même une reconnaissance incroyable, non Non mais M. Cardin, non seulement il a une liberté, une créativité extraordinaire, mais il a surtout... Et d'abord, une formidable technique. S'il n'avait pas cette technique-là, il ne pourrait pas se permettre cette liberté-là. C'est ce qui manque à certains jeunes, quand même. That was Pierre Cardin's collection for spring summer 2013 here in Paris, France. There was lots of fun in this collection, lots of silhouettes. It's all for you to, um, to digest with your eyes. So what it means, Fashion Inside in Paris, France. Coming up after the break, we've got Brioni, and I'll bring you the latest from Express. Welcome back to Men's Fashion Insider. Now we have this season's best from Express, Brioni, and Aga Po in Poland. It's a garden party here at Brioni for the presentation of its new collection for spring summer 2013. For this presentation, we were really inspired by Slim Aaron's photographs. It was really about um, taking our guy outside, giving him a Sunday in the country, uh, maybe at a country club, uh, with lots of different activities. It was also about putting him in a real context again, which was a continuation of what we did with Fall Winter. So uh, all the different activities we would do it really works with the collection, which is very relaxed, very sporty, very fresh, very colorful. We have uh, badminton, croquet, a picnic, Vespas, lounging, uh, board games in the gazebo, really everything you might do to relax on a Sunday. Here is a little bit of our sportswear collection. We've used a lot of very lightweight fabrics. Um, very, very lightweight, 120 grams, silk, waterproof, lots of knitwear, fine gauge. Everything was really about lightweight, um, shorter proportions on the trousers, even rolled trousers, uh, tennis shoes, things that were definitely more relaxed uh, in terms of, um, and also the color palette, very sophisticated, a lot of brown with navy, cream, and we've used a lot of coral and, uh, and teal blue, which we'll see in other areas. Behind us, we have a mix of some of our uh, Brioni men, some of them real men VIPs, um, both uh, from all, all walks of life. The Brioni man is pretty much top in his field. Uh, behind us, you see them very elegant, dressed. You know, also, Brioni is very cross-generational. We have the one-button red linen suit, which is very important. A double-faced uh, jacket in linen and cotton paired with even a bathing suit, a pair of canvas tennis shoes. Uh, in addition, we have a beautiful twin set in coral, uh, which really plays with two structures of knit. Uh, a bigger knit and the cardigan and a fine gauge t-shirt underneath. It's a really beautiful story layering texture but in a very fresh modern way. This is our chic picnic. Uh, we love the idea of the picnic in this lightweight tailoring. 
All the fabrics are 120 to 180 gram weights in suiting. Uh, done again with polo shirts, knits, uh, much more relaxed. Um, not everything so pressed. Proportions are definitely thinner, skinnier pants, uh, shorter pants. And uh, again, we love our guy at the picnic, even without shoes, uh, enjoying an afternoon with his friends. Uh, at a picnic. What an amazing outing. I have to say, whenever we think about impeccable tailoring, impeccable styling, but always with extreme stream style in general, you got to really think about Brioni, and I, my hat goes off to them for the efforts to add those wonderful, brilliant colors into the collection, such as the coral and the cherry reds. They managed to put it into this great collection, great atmosphere, beautiful people, it's so much fun. You're watching Men's Fashion Insider from Milan, Italy. Men's Fashion Insider now takes you over to the presentation of Agapo, who returns to the catwalks of the Fashion Philosophy Fashion Week here in Łódź, Poland. It is uh, completely new. I always try to do what I believe um, to be my own, very true with, with what I actually am into at the moment. Before, I have already pre prepared a collection for summer 2013 with uh, floral, uh, floral patterns. And this collection here at the Fashion Philosophy was the continuation of that collection. Uh, slightly more brave uh, with uh, different colors and, and patterns. I would say that the new collection is very much different from what the previous collections uh, have been since um, it's all about colors, both in female and male line. Uh, the designer is, I would say, experimenting with different, uh, very vivid colors and geometric forms as well, both in, 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 the, uh, in the form and in, in terms of the patterns that were seen on, on the actual fabrics. Uh, and as I said, uh, colors are visible uh, very much in the main line as well, which is kind of brave, I would say, to put, uh, especially for the Polish uh, buyer. I'm not quite sure if this is going to shape up to be one of my favorite collections by Agapo, but it is quite interesting to see how this designer is working, how she is invigorating what she's doing, and she's not afraid to take chances and to add new layers to her own universe. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this actually plays out as far as the boutiques and the buyers are concerned. You're watching Men's Fashion Insider here in Wuch, Poland. After more than 30 years of catering to fashionistas south of the border, Clothing Line Express opened their first Canadian store in Toronto in late 2012. In an attempt to win over the hearts and aesthetic of Canadians, they have joined the roster of designers at Toronto Fashion Week this season. Tonight we check out their spring-summer 2013 collection as the first wave in their invasion of the North. The company's been around for over 32 years right now. We are a dual gender brand, so we cater to both men and women. We started with the limited brands about 30 years ago, and we cater to, to the 20-something market, to the uh, guys and girls who are starting their careers, going into their relationships. We really offer items for lifestyle pillars. So we have casual denim going out and ready to work. So for spring, we're looking at a lot of different shades of colors, a lot of pastels mixed in with bolder prints. Um, so what I'm going to take out right now is our very popular photographer pant for men, and we feel that mint for spring is going to be a really popular shade that men are really going to gravitate towards. Slightly different from your usual khaki, a little bit uh, fresher, newer feel to it. And we, of course, have a variety of shades to choose from, from a nice deep purple, to sort of a cobalt blue, and we feel this will be really edgy and something new for men for spring. And then we're also very excited about the bow tie, which is making a resurgence on the fashion scene. And ours is a little bit less traditional from the black with some interesting patterns and interesting prints on them. The tie, which is a little bit wider, not so skinny. We feel that the guy today wants to be a little bit more dressy than he traditionally is, perhaps. We're still showing a lot of suits, a lot of dark grays, 
with some pocket accents. Again, that wider tie. Our shirts with some more interesting patterns than the traditional stripes. Our very, very popular 1MX shirt that has our proprietary spandex and cotton mix to it. And then you have some of your more traditional spring cotton mix sweaters. I thought it was fantastic. Lots of bright colors, really vibrant. Even the music had me kind of dancing in my seat a little bit. It was, it was awesome. It's always really important to support new ta other talents that are coming into Canada and support those brands that are coming in. And you know, it's really nice when brands are expanding that way. And I thought it was awesome. A lot of people are buying stuff that's affordable and that looks good. I don't, you know, in some cases there are some similarities with uh, with the big name designers. In other cases, they're not. But this one's pretty good. I, I think. For the menswear, I like the suits a lot, and I really love the dress shirts, so much so that I'm wearing one right now. This is Express. Very on trend too, they picked up on the metallics, they picked up on the tuxedo trend. So they're doing their homework, these guys know what they're doing. With their first showing here at Toronto Fashion Week, Express provided a brilliant sample of what this fashion juggernaut is all about. Thanks for watching Men's Fashion Insider. Next time we have Bustle and H&M from Toronto and Todd Snyder in New York. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at MFI underscore TV. And for more info on all your favorites from this show and fashion in general, check out our Pinterest site. Search out TV Network for details. Marcellus? Thanks, Chris. That concludes our episode today, but do not despair because Phaedra and I will return next week with more coverage from the catwalks of Europe. I'll have for you those new collections by Cornelioni, Kinzo, and Diesel. For Chris Housen in North America, this is Phaedra, and I am Marcellus L. Jones saying until we next meet, always remember to stay tuned and stay damn fashionable.